Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have, we're gonna talk about Timu. We're gonna talk about Timu. I have two packages here. One of them is an order that I placed, purchased with my own money. The order, the other is, I'm gonna call it a PR package. It arrived late. Too late for me to actually sort of consider this as PR, but it was sent to me. They gave me some credits. Let me go shop it on the website. Now, at this point, sort of in my life, <laughs> in my nail art life, I feel like I own so much nail art stuff. So with this particular Timu video, I decided I wanted to branch out and get some stuff for my home, some maybe holiday decorating ideas. At this point, I've sort of forgotten what all is in both of these packages. I'm gonna start with what I purchased, uh, purchased with my own monies, which is this little doohickey right here or this little bag. Now, one thing, uh, I've already taken this out because I wanted to test it and make, to make sure that it worked. But I bought this light, uh, this string light. These are LED, I do believe, it, whatever. They're a, a string of lights. They're called festival, festival lights. Frankly, I'm just plugging this in and it is a USB plug. So you will need like a charging block to plug this in, but it's 33 feet long, you guys. And I specifically bought this to go on my Christmas tree. And it is uh, remote controlled operated. Y'all, I'm gonna put a little bit of footage up here. This thing, uh, it is amazing. And these lights are bright. I was flipping amazed by this. So there are a million different light modes, uh, light combinations. You can make it flash, you can make it uh, sort of quickly jump you know, from light to light, you can change the speed. Uh, it's amazing. And there's also a, a white setting and a warm white setting. So if you don't want any color, because personally, I don't really, I don't like my Christmas tree to have colored lights on it. I prefer either warm white, soft white, bright white, whatever it is. So when the holidays are over and when my tree comes down, honey, I can use this in here in my salon. I can put it somewhere in my bedroom. There are just dozens of strips of LED lights going on in this house. I don't know, hubs, uh, spawn, we're all addicted to, to LED lights everywhere. I don't know, we just left the ambiance. But I just thought 33 feet, and it's very thin, clear, a uh, little clear wire here. Put them on anything. Put them on your green tree, on your white tree. They're just going to blend in. Baby, these lights go. And I am so excited for that. It worked beautifully. And because it's USB powered, I don't have to worry about changing batteries or anything like that. So here is my tree with that strand of lights, LED lights. Um, the ones that are moving, that are sort of swirling up the tree, that is that strand of lights. The ones that are just stationary, that's a different uh, strand of lights that Hubs had to buy me because y'all, I got this Christmas tree two years ago and it is a pre-lit, whoops, it is a pre-lit tree. And last year, the freaking lights went out. So yeah, I got two good years out of my pre-lit tree. So Mr. Braves Diva had to buy me um, another, I don't know, like 3,000 foot strand of uh, white lights. But I'm not really happy with this air quote clear cord wire because it literally looks like I have bailed my tree with like literal silver wire. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess it's clear, but it sticks out like a sore thumb, unless I want to literally just bury it in the branches. So I got this put up. Sorry, I'm wandering all over the place. I got this put up last night. It took me, God, two hours, I think, to just fan out all my branches. And then I feel like I sort of undid a lot of that work by wrapping it up in, in these lights because it sort of scrunched my tree back up again. I don't know. I'm not happy. I have not finished 
decorating. Mr. Braves Eve has got a massive freaking TV, no TV showing up tomorrow. So until we get that mounted, I can't put anything on my little armor thing. Uh, but I did get a couple of, oh, and here are the squirrels. There are the little squirrels in there kind of seeping. It's kind of seeping. Um, I did get a couple little things just sort of put up around, but I haven't, I haven't been able to finalize my decorating just yet, but I wanted to throw this in here so that y'all can see that yes, the wire, the cord, whatever it is, the strand, it is, it's not green, it's not white, but it's also sort of not clear. It does, it sticks out to me. Here's my um, Betty White ornament. Here's my, or I guess, Rosen Island. My niece got me um, a couple of Golden Girls ornaments last year. There's Blanche, and she also got me a Chick-fil-A ornament. I'm probably gonna take these off. I really didn't want any ornaments on my tree. I just like a clean, lit up tree, but I don't know. I may have to try to hide, hide these wires <laughs> behind some ornaments, but then it's gonna interfere with the light situation. I don't know. Uh, it's, um, I mean, you get all sorts of different colors and press all these little buttons, different buttons be doing different things. I'm just not, I don't know. I'm a traditional, uh, like here's the warm white. There's the bright white. I don't know. Auto. It does so much stuff. And I do have an idea for what I, what I want to do with this light strand. When the holidays are over, I will put it somewhere in my salon. All right, how do I get back to that? And then, I don't know. I don't know. I have to figure out how to get back to where I was. All right, bye. I'll have a link to this down in the description box below, of course. And I'll have, um, I may not link everything from the order that I placed, but I'll definitely have links to everything that was sent to me in my PR package. Okay, what else do we have? Oh yes, I got a little duster brush. Now we've all seen these that are shaped like little roses, right? Um, they're super cute for dusting off your nails. Let's see if I can get this out. Gorgeous. How pretty is this? Now I thought mine was rose gold, like the metallic part. This is plastic, by the way, but I thought mine was rose gold, but it's more gold gold. Maybe the rose gold, or maybe the rose gold was um, more to describe the bristles of the brush because these are a little bit pinky. This is gorgeous and super soft. And I love that it's even, they've even cut the bristles to sort of look like, you know, a little flower, a little rose. Beautiful, beautiful. So that I'm gonna feel so fancy and bougie ass over here dusting my nails. So I'm excited about that. What else? This was a very small order, by the way. Oh, okay. So this is a little multi pack of mixed silk flower pieces. They have the little plastic. Hang on. They have ASMR. They have the little plastic doohickey. So if you're actually like a crafty type person, uh, whatever, I don't even know what these would stick into, but there, there you have it. You could stick this on whatever the heck these go on to. Personally, I bought these because A, they're beautiful. And if I did ever want to try to get crafty, I don't know, with something. Otherwise, I can just use bits and pieces of these in my nail arts. You know what I mean? Like, um encapsulating little floral designs or what have you. And if there are like sage green, this is a really pretty, um, really pretty pink color. There's of course the lighter shade of pink. Uh, so yeah, we have a darker pink, a lighter pink. How pretty is that? Or even cutting off the little, forgive me, I don't know what the center of the flower is called. I should really do that because I do have a green thumb. But my brain is just not working. Yeah, and some of them are like, um, I don't want to say ombre. They just look like like little watercolor, sort of two-tony. You know, a little bit of dimension going on here. Really pretty. And I could probably take the entire backing off and just use the petals. 
you know, cut it in half, cut it, whatever. I just thought, it, I think it was just a few pennies that I paid for this. And I was like, whatever, maybe I can find something to do, to use these for, to do with those. So those are, oh, and again, you get 50, you get 50 in here. So those are mixed color, 50 pieces, silk, just little silk flower doohickeys here. Put my little things right here so y'all can see. And what else? Okay, there's just one other thing in here. You guys, I bought this ring because it's beautiful. Okay, hang on. And I got a size seven. Yeah, it says right there. Size seven. It is stunning. It is gorgeous. I've never bought any uh, jewelry from the old Timus. Now, my ring finger is about a size, maybe a six and a half or something. Y'all. Look at this. Look at this. This, and it's a weighty. It is a weighty boy. This is a hefty chunk. So most of the metal is rose gold. But Oh, but I guess down here, um, down each of the shoulders, I'm just trying to look. Yeah, it's a, like a silver. I'm hoping y'all can see that. And even the stone itself is not, this has almost like a shiftiness to it. And some lights, you know, the light will hit it and it'll look like, like it has a, like a tiny bit of a blue hint, which I think is showing right now on camera. I'm not sure. But then in other, you know, I'll turn it and another light will pick it up and it'll look almost like it has like a pink hue, um, a purple hue. It doesn't say that it's like a shifty stone. Um, each of the prongs are double prongs, double prong setting. Oh, look, there's even a little, whoops, a little stone right there. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I bought the size seven thinking uh, it would fit my ring finger. You can see there's a lot of room in there. There's a lot of room in there. So it's, it's pretty large. I would say if you're going to buy some jewelry, or at least this ring, uh, size down. So, but again, I think I paid less than $2 for this, but it's absolutely beautiful. It is a honker. I do sort of wish it was smaller, that it was smaller so that it would fit my ring finger because honey, I would, I would go to a wedding, you know, a wedding reception, a cocktail party, go out on the town and just wear a big old nug and be like, you cannot talk to me. Okay. You cannot tell me nothing, honey. It is beautiful. And I feel like it's pretty well made. I don't know what the base metal is. You know, I don't know. I've never purchased any jewelry from the old Timus, but I do love the two-tone of the rose gold and the silver, uh, which are my two favorite metal colors. Maybe she'll fit on my, my red iguana practice hand. I don't know. We'll see. So that's beautiful. So those four, yeah, four items, I think, or what I purchased with my own money. So now let me get this out of the way and we'll dive into what they sent me for free. So as I stated, I opted to grab some things. Let me move my glasses out the way. I opted to grab some things for, for the holidays, you know, a few things. I got this string, twine, whatever you want to call it. And so I bought this specifically to wrap up, you know, Everyone's going to get a festive little little twine thing on their Christmas gift. So 100 meters, 3,937 inches. Well, this, I'm going to be buried with this. Like there is no way in hell I'm ever going to get <laughs> through all of that. Okay. And then I picked up, I picked up another, <laughs> okay, you guys don't, don't laugh at me. I picked up another, let me zoom y'all out another projector. This one's a little bit different and I'm gonna try to put it outside and uh, point it towards my uh, my porch. Not my like gr big garage door or anything like that. But this one has little colorful, uh, little holiday, I don't know, <laughs> shapes, I guess. And the reason I opted to get this is because I already have, um, actually I think my very first Timu order or PR package or something, I opted to get, and I actually I have it, um, I've talked about it in my previous Timu videos, I got a little projector light and that thing runs 24 seven. I'm not kidding you. I take it on, I took it on vacation with me uh, when we went to Florida in January. I'll put up a little video right here. 
I had it I had it off in the little sort of bathroom nook area of our bedroom of the master bedroom of our condo slept with it on now I have it in my bathroom area it literally stays plugged in 24 7. Um, I love it so much so I I thought okay you know I already know the, um, the quality right of that project you know that projector in particular and I think I paid six dollars and change I think this projector was six dollars and change so oh and this definitely uh, just plugs in there's no remote there's no stake uh, some of these will have like a little stake that will you know go in this hole right here and I don't know stick it into the ground somehow which I don't know how that would work because there's not much room in here. I don't know. I will make Mr. Brave Ziva find a place for this to go. But for right now, I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to take my camera off the little mount up here and point it at my wall and show you guys. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out together just how well this thing works. BRB. Okay. The cord itself is, well, I guess I could actually show you. Uh, the cord itself is really short. It's only... I want to say maybe three feet. So you'll definitely need um, an extension cord, I guess, depending on where you put it. You know, I don't know your, your life. I don't know where you live. So here it is on my white ceiling. Super cute, super bright. This, I have a red wall in my salon, so obviously it's not going to uh, be that, that bright and colorful. If you're aiming this at a colored surface, or at least a dark, colored surface and again I'm filming this during the daytime so it's um it's still, still a little bit light in here but I am really pleased with this super cute right look how pretty sorry I hope it's not too windy it's so brave Steva and I just just got this installed it's um attached to our post down here oh my gosh look I love it. And also, no soliciting. Go away, you turds. I love it. Whoops. So pretty. Now, the question will be, how well will this hold up in the, in the Michigan winter time out here? But it is protected, you know, I mean, a little bit. So, I don't know. It's just so super cute, and I love it. All right, the link to this will be down in the description box. It's freaking adorable. I love. All right, and since we're still talking about lights, I bought something else to go on my tree. This says it is LED string lights, and that's not, I hope that's not what's in the box because that's not what I thought I was purchasing. Oh, oh okay, it's not. So what this thing is, is a lighted ribbon. Years ago, or four years, I decorated my tree with ribbon like this, the sort of this organza ribbon that had, um, you know, the stiff wires so that it was, you know, moldable, pliable, and you could sort of either make it your tree topper or make it look like it's sort of waving down the front of your tree. This one lights up. I don't have batteries uh, in front of me right now. Let me go grab some batteries. We'll check it out. All right, it takes three AAA batteries. There is a steady mode and a flash mode on this. I can't remember how long this is. I'll tell you in a minute. Here is what the flash mode looks like. Maybe. I don't like flashing lights on my tree either, so it will be in steady mode. So as you can see, there's this tiny, tiny little string, little filament with these tiny little LED lights all throughout. And they're not like sewn in or glued in in a specific spot. Um, so they do sort of move around. But as you can see, which I didn't even notice, there are little six pointed stars. There's a little, um, Looks like a little sun, the little music lights. There are stars. There are little oval shapes. So freaking cute. I love this. And the ribbon itself is gold. All right, let's, let's turn that off. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on, y'all. There we go. As you can tell, I don't really enjoy being in the dark. So, okay, hold on. How, how long is this? Oh, 32.8 feet. Holy balls, 10 meters. Well, it seems like you'll have plenty of length to get really creative with this. Look how beautiful it is. It's stunning. So it's it's gold. I think I need one in silver. Gorgeous. Look at it. It it feels very well made. I mean it's it's thin, but I don't feel like it's so delicate that's just gonna fall apart. I actually like that it's really thin because it'll be easy to, you know, mold any way you would like to, or shape rather, I guess. <gasps> Love that, love that. I love Timo's lights. I, I don't know, they're they're good quality. I just like, I don't know, I just love being surrounded by light. You know, it sort of counteracts my dark soul. The last three items are nail related, believe it or not. So I picked up, and I know everyone, by now, by now everyone has seen the, uh, the file, the little mandrel bit for the little tiny sanding bands for like etching the inside of your, your nail extension tips or, you know, using them to get, obviously there's not a band on here, but you know, getting around your, um, your cuticle area, that type of a deal. So these did not come together. They were purchased separately. So I got the small mandrel bit and the, these are three millimeter, they're 240 grit standing bands and there are 50 there are 50 in here so I think uh, I'll definitely get some good use out of this you know I thought I would try it y'all know I have a million well, maybe you don't know because you don't know my setup yet uh, I'm still planning to do a salon tour I guess for you guys uh, film a video about that and you will definitely see how many how many different boxes of tips that I have so this will come in handy for you know not only doing my own manicures, but also prepping, you know, the insides and the surface of my tips. And last but not least, you guys, I've been eyeballing these. And honestly, I should have already had one of these when Bases Load Lacquer was up and running. I could have really used this. Okay, that's the cable. To display my polishes when I was taking pictures for my website. And it is a little carousel you guys so there's like i don't know information in here it's a little uh turntable carousel how cute is that you can put your stuff on top of here this um has a little i don't know double-sided thing but then it also has and i think there there's a film on here that i'll take off a little reflective sort of mirrored surface that you can you know, so you can change up the look of whatever it is that you have on here. Let me get this plugged in. And I know I already have 3 million of these cords. So I'm not even going to open that. I will get one that I already have. And I'll show you guys what this is going to look like. Okay, you guys. I got it plugged in. It's got a little green light that obviously is going to let you know that it is turned on. So if you're taking pictures of something, you would have that off to the back. But there are, there is a, it's going to spin, uh, it's going to turn right, it's going to turn left. I don't know what SR and ASA is, so I guess, ugh, are there instructions? <laughs> no, there's not, okay. Well, okay, that's fine. Let me, let me get a bottle of polish. All right, so the polish, oh my gosh, I'll bring you guys down, um, to my level in just a few. Okay. So now it's spinning left, left, right. What are the other, what are these other ones? Oh, I think that's a speed mode. Okay, hang on. SR is some, I don't know if that affected the speed. Uh, let me see what. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. How do I turn it off? <laughs> do I hold it? Okay, all right. You guys, let me turn on. Okay, I have my flash on because let's face it, this polish is stunning. Um, so if you wanted to take a video, you know, if this, I'm telling y'all, 
man, I should have had one of these when I was, you know, taking pics for my own, my own business. So set it in the middle. It can spin that way. But then if you wanted to do like a boomerang type video, hang on. Uh, I'm trying to find that button. Crap, hang on. Okay. Can you see? It goes left and then stops and comes back right again. Oh, I guess it helps if I center it, right? Freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at all that gorgeousness in there. Look at those flakies popping. Oh, I love this. How freaking cute. And then, of course, when I get the little film taken off of this, um, I can put anything on there and sort of help mirror. You know, it'll reflect. <laughs> look at that. That'll look even better once I get that film taken off of there. How freaking cute is this? All right, I'll definitely have a link for this down in the description. Let me get uh, resituated, you guys. All right, I think I'm in love with this. I really think I'm in love with this. Or you could t do like a little, maybe put a little piece of um, sticky tacky stuff on here so that it doesn't roll all over the place. Stick it, you know, and film it that way or take your photos or whatever it is that you're doing. Oh my gosh, love that. Okay, that was a genius little little pickup. And to turn it off, well, you could always unplug it, of course. You're gonna um, press and hold that RL, which is right and left. I don't know what SR stands for. I assume, obviously, speed something. I don't know what ASA stands for either, because one thing about this is there are no, mm, there are no instructions unless, hold on, shut up, Tara. There are instructions. SR is speed regulation. Switch to clockwise, counterclockwise. Oh, you can power it on by touching any of the keys. Damn it, I'm an idiot. I should have just looked at the back of the freaking box, okay? Speed regu regulation. Oh, it'll either do two rotations uh, a minute, four or six. Okay, that's good. ASA is angle re regulation. Why are there... Okay, I didn't see that. I may have to check that again. Hmm. Okay, uh, power off, long press any key for three seconds. There you go. There you go. I am really excited about that. And if you sell press-ons... This would be perfect, especially if you film, um, you know, reels or something, little videos, prop them up there, put them on display, spin them around. Uh, Spawn may actually use this as well because he sells little collectibles on the old Ebays and that kind of a thing. He maybe can get some use out of this. Um, I don't know. I just think this is a handy, a handy little dude to have. Okay, that's going to do it for me, you guys. I need to hop off here because I need to go. I have an eye appointment to go get my lenses, my new lenses in my um, my glasses today. So, But I did want to definitely get this film for you guys so that I can get some of this stuff onto uh, my Christmas tree <laughs> and incorporate my new uh, Christmas decorations into my holiday decorating. This was Rhythm and Blues, by the way. No longer available, of course, but still gorgeous and worthy of showing off. Okay, that's gonna do it for me, you guys. If you stuck around this long, the keyword is lights. The keyword is lights, because obviously I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed with lighting. So the keyword is lights. Drop me a light bulb. Drop me something that glows down into the, the comments below so that I know you stuck around this long. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you, Timu, also for sending me half of what I've just showed y'all. And uh, I will see y'all in my next one. Love y'all. Bye.